In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to create your own bundle within Symphony 2 and also how to delete that bundle later if you don't want it. What we're looking at here is the default page for uh, Symphony 2's Hello World demo. And as I was mentioning in the last video, this world part right here is the argument that's getting passed um, into the function which is to the left of it. And what is to the left of that function is the namespace which is called demo right here. So we can change this world to whatever else we want and that variable is going to get updated here on the screen. So let's take a look at the controller that went into creating this page. And I'm inside my symphony folder here and I'm going to open up SRC and then Acme. Acme is the namespace and then we have demo bundle here. So this is the naming convention basically. Um, the bundle is called demo so this folder should be called demo bundle. And let's go into the controller right here and then demo controller. And if we scroll down here we'll see a function called hello action. And it also has some comments above it. And that's basically what we're looking at right here. Uh, we're looking at that hello action function. And that hello action function is loading in the view. Uh, which gives us this presentation right here. So one thing you might be wondering is why does this say hello action when in the URL we only have hello right here. And that hello is coming from the comment above it. So the comment above it is actually doing the routing for this page. So if I change this hello right here to what's up, then we go back to the page and we refresh it we are going to get a 404 error because um, it wasn't able to find it. So if I change this, um, sorry, if I change hello right here to what's up, now our page is going to be, re it's going to render properly because um, the routing was set to what's up right here. The next thing I want to show you is the view that this function is loading. So inside the demo bundle folder, go down to the resources folder and open that up. And then open up the views folder and then the demo folder. And then there's a file called hello.html.twig and we can open that up. And you'll see the hello word right there. And we can change this to something else just to make sure that it's using this view. And I've changed that to what's up now. And let's go back here and refresh and we'll see that that has got updated now. So this is the default bundle that comes with Symphony but we want to know how to create our own bundle so I'm going to show you how to do that now. And basically there's two ways to do that. One is you could create all of the folders and files for that manually by yourself which would take a lot of time and the other way is to use um, the command line tool to um, use a program that comes within Symphony um, to do that a lot faster for us. So what I'm going to do is open up my command line right here and I'm first going to cd to my root folder and after that I'm going to uh, change to my XAMPP folder and then htdocs and then my projects folder which I keep all of my different apps inside uh, slash projects and then symphony and this folder is what we're looking at here in my Aptana if we look at my project explorer here you'll see uh, symphony here so we're inside this right now and what we need to do right here is we need to run the program so I'm going to type php app slash console and then I'm going to type generate colon bundle. And we're going to get this message which says welcome to the Symphony 2 bundle generator. And basically this is going to give us a whole bunch of hints on what we need to do in order to create our bundle. And all we have to do is um, answer the questions and by the end of it we'll have our um, ready made bundle. So the first thing it's asking us for is the bundle namespace and this has to be in a certain fashion so the best way to do this is just look at their example here which is um, acme slash bundle slash blog bundle 
Now, I don't want to create a blog for my first app. What I want to create is a simple CRUD application uh, just to do some testing with the database. So what I'm going to call my namespace is Anthony slash bundle slash CRUD bundle. You press enter and then it's going to confirm for me my bundle name is Anthony CRUD bundle and I'm just going to press enter to confirm that. The next question is talking about the target directory. So what it wants to do is place our bundle inside the SRC folder and that is the same folder which um, the demo is located in so I'm okay with that so I'm going to press enter here the next question is asking us the configuration format we want to use and we can choose between YML, XML, PHP or annotation which is comments within our PHP files as far as I know and I'm going to choose YML here and the next question is asking me if I want to generate the whole directory structure and I want to answer yes to that and the last thing I think is just a confirmation that it's going to generate it right now I'm going to say yes uh, the next question is asking us if we want to update our kernel I'm going to say yes to this and the next one is um, confirming that we're going to update the routing this is also yes and it says we can now start using the generated code. So I'm just going to minimize this, and now I'm going to um, now I'm going to go into the SRC folder, and we'll see that um, my new folder is created here, Anthony. So I'm just going to close these first, and let's open up the Anthony folder, and then bundle, and then crud bundle, and then controller. And I'm going to open up my default controller and we can see my default controller here and what it's doing inside the only function is it's loading in its view so we have this um, return this render and then inside here um, it's loading in my view which is index.html.twig and it's also passing a variable to that view and that's because this function right here um, needs to take one argument which is the name so what it does here in the second argument is it passes an associative array and which has a key of name and the and the value um, is the variable that's getting passed in and this variable gets passed in um, through the URL so here and basically that's what it's talking about right there the next thing I want to show you is inside the resources folder so let's just open up resources right here and actually let's open our view first so under views default and then index.html.twig and I'm just going to change this hello to how are you so just so we can confirm um, you know that we're actually affecting this view and then I'm going to go into the config folder here and then open up routing.yml so this routing.yml uh, file has the um, routing information. So for our default controller, we have a pattern of slash hello slash the variable. So let's see if we can get this to um, to work in our browser. And so let's, let's go back here and I'm going to um, delete the demo part and everything after that and press enter. And then I'm going to type in hello and then my name and we'll see that we got our page right here so um, another thing that I want to show you is you know when we were doing um, the stuff in the console it also updated another folder inside our app folder so um, just above the SRC folder there's an app folder and then we have um, config folder and we'll open that up and uh, this also has a routing.yml file and you'll see that it added our um, our CRUD right here. So before there was nothing here, and um, it looks like it looks like this is making a reference to um, the other routing.yml file. So it knows that once we go here, just after appdev.php and put that in, it knows it should load in um, my bundle. The next thing I'll show you is how to delete your bundle from Symphony. And if we're inside our SRC folder here. 
um, the first thing I was trying was I was just deleting the Anthony folder right here and I thought that would be enough to delete it and then just go back into the command line tool and then just create the bundle again um, but it didn't work because it was telling me that it still existed and the way to totally clear out your old bundle is first you need to um, delete the folder under SRC like I just did and the next thing you want to do is go into appkernel.php which is in the app folder so I'm just going to open that up right now and I'm going to scroll down here to this line where we find our bundle and there's a comment sorry there's a comma after it and we're just going to delete this line right here and save it and close that and the next place you want to go is under config and go under uh, app config and then config.yml and then just scroll down here actually it's not this one it's routing.yml so open up routing.yml and basically um, this this info that was put here at the top just delete that and save it and now we've totally deleted our bundle so what you can do now is you can go um, back into your command line tool and go php app slash console generate bundle and now you're going to be able to follow all the steps to um, create the bundle again and even just create a bundle with the exact same name we had before and you won't have any conflicts because um, you've totally deleted your bundle if you follow the steps that I just showed you.